Today, the 13th day of May 2023, is a day of great shame to this country. The President of the Republic has presided over a function attended by all leaders of this country. Art in Jamini, Nyandarwa County, in which we have exposed our collective shame. For the better part of today, until a few minutes ago, the President has led the nation in the burial ceremony of Mukami Kimadi. May God raise us all in eternal peace. Shuja Mukamiki Mathi was the widow of the foremost freedom fighter, Shuja Dedan Kimathi, who was shot, arrested, hanged, and buried in an undisclosed grave at Kamiti Prison. I followed, like other Kenyan, the proceedings of the burial service. And as the bowels of the earth opened to receive this great lady to go join her husband and go before their maker, tears rolled down my cheeks. As I wiped the tears, I ask God, what have we done to deserve all this? The magnitude of the shame that played out at, in Jamini, Jamini at the funeral service is unimaginable. As leaders, stood to heap praises on the president. Mukami lay there in her casket. Hardly a mention, not even in the salutations. Every leader stands with what they call protocol, beginning with the president, the deputy president, the prime cabinet something, hardly a mention, if any, to the widow and the family. Every leader competing to show their loyalty to the president. And when they were not praising the president, they were begging for development. So as Shuja Mukami lay in that casket, representing the entire history of this country, here were cheap Kenyan leaders in their typical fashion, begging the president for development. A road here, a hostel there, a milk cooler in some place, a potato storage some place. And the president did not disappoint. When he stood to speak, the president took all the time to respond to the request for development. And he unleashed the goodies to the people of Nyandarwa. Shuja Mukami was the living symbol of the struggle for independence. Anytime I looked at that old lady, history streamed before my eyes. I saw the suffering Kenyans I read when I was informed to 
in a book called Mau Mau Kizuizini by the late J.M. Karaoke. The suffering the people of Kenya went through during the state of emergence. The symbol of all that lay in that casket there. As leaders stood to compete in praising the president and in begging for development. I saw men suffering in Manyani detention in Hola. I saw men herded into villages, homes destroyed. Yet, today was not a time to speak about that. After all, we've been told, Historia to Achera Ilaudinga. And then, in a stream of contradictions, but in the spirit of begging, Your Excellency, let's work on the history of this country. Let's have a museum in Nyandarwa, another one in Nyeri Tetu. For those who may not know, the suffering, the struggles, the determination of the people of Kenya fighting against all odds The symbol of all that today was in that casket. And the shame that came out, national shame, that we still have colonial villages. 60 years after independence, the people who suffered and sacrificed those still alive and their descendants are living like dogs in villages where they had been herded into by the colonial masters. And here we are celebrating ourselves as independent people. Hardly a mention from those leaders. Only in the spirit of begging, let's give them title deeds. You get a man in a pit latrine, and you say, let's clean this pit latrine and provide some little food for him in that pit latrine. That's what you are being told today. The national shame. Those villages are a national shame. The leaders who spoke about them know them, including the number of those villages, including the people in those villages. Yes, thank you, Mr. President for saying you'll issue title deeds. Those people do not deserve title deeds where they are. This country has enough land to settle the men who fought for independence. I saw Gitu Gahengeri there. To ensure the descendants of these people who fought for us have some decent abode and environment in which to live. Today was indeed a day of shame, presided over by the president. For a lady who symbolizes everything that is our history, I would have expected those who stood to speak at least showed some respect to those who suffered for this country. and of a small understanding of the history of this country. To turn such an event into a begging mission, the Senate of Nyandarwa, with a little humor, led in this begging mission. And I took it so well, together with the MP of the area and other leaders. A few of them took time to deride and hit at the former Prime Minister, Prime Minister Raila Odinga. 
unaware that Raila and his father and other people are a part of that history to which Mukami belongs. But the biggest shame of them all was that today we've just buried a lady whose wish above everything else had been that before she's buried, when her time comes, we bring the remains of her husband for her to see. And should she die before she sees the remains of her husband, Shuja Dedan Kimadi, that the last we can do for her, and because she symbolizes everything, struggle about this country, the last we can do for those who fought for this country is to bring the remains of Kimadi. Other people, the Herero of Namibia and others, have brought the remains and skulls of their heroes from Germany Today we gather and say we will do everything possible to identify the remains of Kimadi with the state of science today. If indeed the remains of Kimadi are anywhere near Kimadi, near, near Kamiti, with the science of today, it should not take even one day to identify the body or the remains of dead and Kimadi. And therefore the leaders who come there and with all humility, I talk about the president. It should not have been to say we shall work with these old men to identify the body of Kimadi. No. It should have been to ask Kenyans to join you in the celebration of bearing Kimadi to, together with his wife. Because the state of science today is such a that a body like that can be retrieved in a matter of hours. Yet we allow shame because we are, been a, we are a country where people don't feel shame about anything. Americans will say about no nothing. So today, we washed ourselves in national shame. Our children and their children will look at this day and say, how could our fathers and our grandfathers allow this shame to be visited upon the country and upon us? It's indeed extremely shameful that today we bury Kimadi, Kimadi's wife, without bringing the remains of dead and Kimadi to be buried with her without having any tangible action to ensure that those who are living miserable lives in villages where they had been herded by colonial masters, this would have been a day to announce that not a single Mau Mau fighter, their children and descendants, would be found in any of those villages and that already the government has identified 10,000 acres of land, 20,000 for them. And as the president will be saying that, the casket bearing the remains of Kimadi will be adorned in the national flags of this country.